What's happening, Winter Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, got another big blue hand warmer. This is the OT920. This is a larger 10,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank and hand warmer. I really am intrigued by these. I've never had the electronic hand warmers before, and so I want to test it out, see if it really works, and give you some temperature readings. So here is the hand warmer itself. I've shown you the other one before. And this one's quite a bit smaller in terms of length, but it's much thicker. So you can see what we have here is like an aluminum band all the way around. We've got nice uh, uh, snowflakes on there for design. We have plastic caps on either end here. Looks like we have power button, micro USB in, uh, USB out for charging your devices. Looks like we have a flashlight there. So I'm gonna hold down the power button here. And ooh, here are the lights showing us the charge. Looks like we have about 80% charge, four of five lights is on or lit up. And then if I hold this down, I'm assuming maybe we'll get that flashlight. There it is. There she is. It's a pretty good light. It's not bad, not bad at all. And then if I hold this down again, I think that's gonna go off. All right, it does come with a micro USB cable as well, just FYI. Now, if I hit this, this is going to be the hand warmer portion. If you hold it down, we get a little green light. If I hold it down again, I get a red light. And if I hold it down, some more it goes off. So I'm guessing that green light is the low setting. So I'm gonna turn that on here, let it warm up, and then we will take some temperatures on it. Okay, so this is warm. Absolutely, it's kind of warm consistently all the way around. It's actually pretty warm. You know, it's not just warm. Obviously we're inside and it's room temperature here, but this is almost to kind of my comfort level limit. Pretty warm. So anyway, let's just go ahead and put this down. I've got my laser temperature gauge right here, thermometer, and I'm just going to pull the trigger here, get the laser on there, and 106 degrees, man. And as far as I can tell, that's the low setting, uh, which is probably the setting I would be using. 107, man, that's pretty warm. But it does look like that there is a second level here. So I'm gonna hold this down, see if we can go to the red, and I'm gonna let this warm up here and we'll test this one. All right. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I have to let it sit longer, but this thing is already getting really warm. So it doesn't take long to go between modes here. And I can tell you, I can hold this and it's kind of uncomfortably warm to hold. If it were really cold out and if you had gloves on, then probably this is just fine. But I don't know that I would have it on this setting because it just feels like kind of an uncomfortably warm coffee mug. So it's pretty warm. I'm, I'm, I kid you not. The laser on there. Saying 111 degrees, looks like that's that's pretty consistent. I'm just gonna flip it over here and check this side too. 110, 111 degrees. So the step up isn't that much. It's not as much as I thought, but man, I can tell you that this is hot. <laughs> this is really hot. And again, the form factor makes it easy to tote around. I love that you have a flashlight and a basically a portable power bank to recharge your phone. And then like I said, you know, the added benefit of this is this whole winter, winter lasts like 11 months here in Chicago. Uh, you can heat yourself up, heat your toes up, your arms up, your hands, uh, throw in your chest uh, shirt pocket and, and heat up your core, it's pretty amazing. And I love the fact that I don't have to go out and buy a lot of individual disposable hand warmers that really never work all that well, to be honest. So this thing definitely puts out some heat, proven. Check it out if you wanna pick this up. Uh, I got it on Amazon, I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Pand out.